I've had a short walk and uh, now we've made it to the Legoland Discovery Centre. You see it's got a giant giraffe uh, made out of brick behind me, which is actually quite popular for people taking pictures uh, next to it. And if I just spin round, you'll see here that's the Discovery Centre and it's got like, you know, um, a sort of a play activities for children. But also inside there, if you see um, just back there, there's also a Lego store, which um, sometimes actually has uh, retired um, gift with purchases actually for sale. You don't have to have, you know, like spend so much to get them. So it'll be interesting to see what's in there with those. And um, occasionally they have like retired sets uh, still uh, knocking about and uh, also uh, different travel pieces. So let's have a look. Here we have a Millennium Falcon display. So that's the actual built Millennium Falcon. And then just down here, we've got a partially built Millennium Falcon. And you'll see here, the piece is actually glued down and it sort of lets people come in and play and uh, put the pieces on and try and have a go at building the Millennium Falcon. I thought this was a cool idea. If people come into the shop and want to disinfect their hands, they've got this uh, hand sanitizer and they've put Lego pieces inside. Looks really cool with um, Captain Redbeard in. You can see more of the pieces. A nice idea to try and get people to disinfect their hands. Here's the Powerball on the store, quite a good range, uh, I've just seen the Birmingham Ball Rings range, uh, so there are some pieces the same, but there are a few differences too, such as these uh, small sort of transparent window type pieces. Then uh, down here we've actually got some 1x2 um, transparent blue brick, might be interested for water detailing, and some blue tile too. And then uh, we've got plenty of white masonry bricks in store. And even some of these 1x4 purple masonry bricks. Just found uh, some uh, Lego City roads that they're selling. I've not really noticed these before. You can see you get a number of plates in a pack. And even some uh, glow in the dark um, street lights. That's quite a nice idea. And if we have a look at the back of the box, you can see potential road configurations you can make with the road plates. You also get the tiles with the stripes on. And uh, let's see how much this costs. Uh, £18, so that's the sort of standard rate, I believe. Here we have a good range of um, Lego sets aimed at uh, adult fans of Lego. Got a few of the newer sets too, such as uh, let's have a look at all the Spider-Man art set and then the Tranquil Gardens. But just next to this great wave here, I've uh, spied something interesting. So this here is an art project set, which is actually a retired set now, so um, quite nice to see it's still in the store. Just uh, try and angle it, see what the price is. £105, I think that was the standard price when it was uh, originally out for sale. I think the Harry Potter one could be retired as well, but I'm not too sure. And uh, they have a good range of merchandise in this store too. So we've got like Lego mugs here, which we actually got a brick festival. Then even uh, salt and pepper pots uh, bricks. This is the Jade Rabbit set, which is uh, celebrating the Chinese uh, Mid-Autumn Festival. Uh, the rabbit set and the moon cake looks very cute. And then uh, actually on the inside, uh, if you'll see there's hinges there, you can open up and there's little rabbits on the inside. And then uh, we've got a birthday cake um, set, so you can open the cake up and there's a little place for the minifigures to go. That's pretty cool. There's the actual box so you can see it closed. And uh, here's the upscaled minifigure that they have on display. And uh, you can actually see on the inside uh, how they've displayed it. So you can see the giant minifigure, which uh, you can move the arms and the legs. Looks very large. And then um, you can see the actual normal size minifigure controlling it like a giant mech. A nice uh, idea, I think. It'll be interesting to see if they make any more in the future. Look what I've just found. I found a retired gift for purchase sale. This is the pirate ship playground. So that's uh, been retired recently. That's the twenty pounds. So it's quite nice. You can have an opportunity to pick these up if uh, you've missed them when they're out. We've got some space sets uh, here. We've got like the shuttle and uh, Mars rover, the Fantastic Galaxy Explorer. But just above this, another retired gift for purchase: the Black Tron Cruiser. So you can see they've got plenty in stock. And let's just have a look how much this costs. £25, so it's all reasonable. I think that's the relatively the going rate. You can see on the back here, it's a really nice uh, set, quite a substantial build. And I like how they've done the retro styling on the packaging too. I hope you found this quick video useful. They've actually got some ice creams for sale here, which is useful in the hot weather. Thank you for watching, and if you could like and subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Until next time, bye.